We had a wonderful stream last night with the creator of Spells of Magic, the new up and coming TCG on Kickstarter. If you guys did not check that out yet, I highly encourage you to do so. I love the artwork for it. I understand that I, I said this before too. Yes, that is my opinion on that, but I think the game looks really cool, but we gotta ask the creator, the CEO, actually what he thinks about long-term growth of card games in general, sets in general, how he approached the TCG, how he approaches life, what his work ethic is, a lot of really cool, interesting things that you don't really get to hear from creators of these card games. So I, anyway, long story short, I think it was a fantastic stream. I think uh, he did a great job answering a lot of your questions, a lot of my questions. Um, so yeah, you should check that out. Anyway, we'll be talking about more about Spells and Magic in the future, but I wanted to address the question up here, up close-ish for you guys, however you want to put it. Uh, hello, beautiful people. Captain Zach Sparrow here. I hope you're having a great day today. What I wanted to talk about was, what if, yeah, everyone sells all their Pokemon at once? What if everyone sells all their Magic the Gathering at once? And, and it's, I'm seeing, uh, more questions around this, and I guess it's just because it's that... I don't want to say that time of year. I think it's because we're not seeing as much being talked about in the space for hype right now. Yes, we've got a very interesting, very exciting set that is right uh, right now, like coming out, you know, in Brilliant Stars. So I think that this is going to be a really cool set. I think it's going to be a set that's going to be looked back on fondly. Yes, I haven't opened up the set just yet, but... I'm I'm really interested to see how much fun it is to actually open because you can see a lot of content creators opening cards online. You can see a lot of discussions in Discord servers, but until you actually open up the packs yourself, it's just kind of hard to know. Does it feel right in the palm of my hand there? And yes, I'm still talking about cards. So it just uh yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to a bunch of things here, but I'm I've, I've seen these questions intermittently, and I've seen them a little bit more, and I think people are asking deeper questions now. The average stonker is getting more well-versed in the hobby. I guess you could say more people are finding SM Pratt's videos, Pokenomics videos, uh, people who are just more in the know. The People are stumbling upon those videos more. People are thinking deeper. People are understanding markets, how it works. They understand now, oh, maybe you shouldn't buy this expensive chase card literally day one maybe i should wait maybe i should wait until like day two <laughs> so yeah i uh my friends have even gotten smarter um with the stonkage potential and they're not even stonkers they just know now as opposed to a couple years ago oh yeah maybe i shouldn't buy all of these stupid insane pre-order prices maybe i should just wait a week or two maybe if i just cool my jets a little bit i'll be okay so the ultimate question, and here's what I, I love I love to do this. What if everyone sells all their Pokemon cards at once, Zach? You know what? I think Pokemon will go to zero. I'm <laughs> I'm not really even joking. I think Pokemon will go to zero. But what if everyone sells all of their houses at once? What if everyone sells all of their houses at once? Everything would go to zero. What if everyone sells all of their cards at once? What if everyone sells... It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I hate seeing that comment all over the place. Well, what if everyone goes to sell their Pokemon all at once? Because they're all going to have a great idea that they're all going to want to retire off it. Everyone's a different age. Everyone's at a different place of time. Every, everything is a good time to sell. Every time is a good, good time to sell. Every time is a good time to pick up pieces and all these different cards for people. There's always a right time to sell for a specific person. There's always a wrong time to sell for a specific person. It depends on their needs. It depends on whatever it is that they want to do with that particular set at that particular time in their life. Is that going to be different from your unique situation, you little snowflake? Yes, I think it will be. So what do I think will happen? <laughs> of course, this gets to be more of a stereotypical Captain Zack Sparrow video. I feel like we just haven't done one of these in a little bit here. So yes, what do I think if everyone sells all of their whatever cards all at once? You know what? It might go to zero if everyone sells at once. Yes, if everyone sells at once, I think the housing market will collapse if everyone sells all of their houses at once. So when that happens, I'm going to make a new video here and let you know, hey, 
I, I was right, because I think if everyone sells at once, that that'll happen. Now, what are the odds of everyone selling at once? Ah, there we go. That's the video. Uh, that, that That's what I had for you today. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe and watch another one of my videos. And until next time, thanks so much for watching, gang.